Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be decorating the interior of a book nook and I'm going to be using my laser cutter to help me out with that. Now there are plenty of um, just plain empty book nooks uh, frames almost that you can get, uh, get online. I ended up kind of making my own but it didn't go super well so I'm going to kind of skip over that part and sort of pretend like I just had one that was ready and raring to go. Um, but really what I'd started off by doing, and I wanted to go for this like Feyre and Resand kind of look that I've seen all over TikTok uh, based off of A Court of Thorns and Roses. I kind of put the shapes and the dimensions into Canva and started uh, creating my shapes that I would want cut out, um, just kind of in this design here. Like I said, I started off with the wood, switched to the chipboard, I just attached everything with some simple tape and glue, and it worked out just fine, but I'll link maybe like a, a blank one for you guys down below so that you have access to that. But I kind of created this like layered look and I wanted to add in lights and, and glitter and I just had like these really big aspirations for how I wanted to decorate this little book nook and I just kind of want to take you guys on that journey with me. So uh, let's kind of jump right in. All right, got some glitter. I got all my bits and bobs. Um, I'm going to get some uh, hot glue. I'm going to start kind of laying some stuff out. All right, um, I kind of want to start from back to front, which means lightest first I'm so excited to slip this in here because let me tell you I need something to kind of keep these things up and moving I don't like how wet the edges still are because I don't it's been a hot second and it's it shouldn't be that deep I also don't like that it just kind of grabbed a bunch of my stuff out there Ugh. Well, I don't technically need to add any hot glue, but I think I'm going to anyway. Put it on the front here. Just like that in the edge crevice bit. Let's add a glue. Pop a new one in there. Alright. I also have some um, like sparkly glitter glue, glitter hot glue, that I think would be kind of fun to pop in there. So I don't know, maybe I'll mess with that a little bit later. Add some, some more effect. It's a little crooked, but it's fine. Uh, next we have our medium toned one. Slip this in. I don't want it all the way front yet. Back that up. You can kind of see how it's building in like the layers there, which I quite like. I'm gonna put it down pretty far. Just to like the point where you kinda you know, like it is what it is. Um and I did scrape a little bit of stuff down here. This is like the hardest video to film ever. Right, I'm not hating it so far. Um, <clears throat> I didn't think I was gonna be as bothered by this like open space on the bottom, but I'm actually like very bothered by it. So I kind of want to get just like another piece um, and like paint it black. And I'm just gonna go for like kind of a rolling hill vibe, something kind of even and flat. All right. It's mostly dry, not perfect, but whatever. I am not a professional. All right, so I'm gonna kind of shove this in here and I'm actually gonna bend it just to touch so it doesn't scrape all the way down. I want to avoid that as much as possible. All right, not so bad. All right, so I have this L wire. Um, it's blue. I think it'll look good with kind of this color scheme, like galaxy color scheme thing I have going on. So I am going to kind of unwrap it and I'm gonna see if I can kind of trace 
it along the back of these mountains a bit. So it like attaches to these power strips. I'm gonna pull this off. Um, obviously this is like how you turn it on and off and it takes these batteries. I got the this L wire in like a pack of multiple colors. Um, it takes two AA batteries. Um, but I wanna like stick this to the back of course. Um, but I think maybe it'll be easier to maneuver if I did not have that on and just had the wire. So, I don't know. I'm still kind of into my original idea and I do want to string this through somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna make that happen, but I, I will, I will make it happen, I swear. So, I just kinda need to angle it a little bit. It's coming down. I'm feeling I'm gonna have to re-glue some stuff, I'm sure. I'm gonna see like that. Yeah, that's the stuff. And I think I wanna, oh right, I never actually glued that. I just kinda shoved it in there. Son of a gun. See, look at that. And then like the light will go up that way and like illuminate from behind this particular mountain bit. Yeah, I think I do need to, whatever. This is not the point. So now I wanna take another one, or, or I'm gonna like, reach in, I want to grab that bit back there and pull it up and then glue it on the back of this mountain and then have it come back down and then I'm going to have it come up this mountain and then come back down and then I'm going to have it come up the last mountain and I'm going to have that go back down as well and I'm going to pop a little hole maybe back here and then string uh, the, the little, the last bits of it through through the back. All right, the last thing I did was I took my box cutter, just sliced a little hole in here. So I'm gonna pop this guy in through the back. I've got glue in here. Um, I just need to make sure that this can come out the back a little bit. All right, I think I got it, almost. I'm gonna lose my grip on her. Come through, oh, yes, okay. Wow, that was intense. All right, I have these like rechargeable batteries. I'm just gonna set this open, double A, got negative down here, negative up. Oh, it's totally working. Oh, and it blinks. Okay, cool, I forgot it did that. So I feel like I'm gonna need to turn the lights off a little bit. Um, to kind of see, see how it looks. I'm sad. You can't even tell, it's not bright enough. You can see that it's on and then it goes through the blinking and all that, but watch what happens when I turn the lights off. That's it, that's all we have. All right, this is the darkest space I can find right now. I still have a light coming from one window, but. Let's see if it's any better this way. I don't even know if it's in frame right now. Hold on, where's the button? You see what I mean though? Like I was hoping that you can kind of see it here, like the way that the um, light kind of reflects from the back of the mountains. That's really what I wanted. Um, and it's just not happening. That's my last little like Hail Mary slash attempt here is that I'm gonna pop this L wire really, really back there. And it does create like a really cool effect on the glitter, as expected. Um, but I wonder if it'll help at all. No, oh, it's so much better when it's like lining that mountain specifically. I cannot remove, this is why Gorilla Hot Glue is incredible by the way. Um, I cannot remove the L wire from this hot glue. So, we're gonna have to try some stuff. All right, 
I've done a little replacement here. I do still, I'm still kind of doing some touch-ups. I like some of the glue gets in the way. All right, so here we have it kind of on his own. Not too bad. Um, time to see what it looks like with the lights off. Nice and dark and I hope we're in frame. Well, I will say I like it better this way. You still can't totally see the background stuff I wanted, but it's definitely a cooler look. So I've got my lid here. I'm gonna pop that on the top. And I don't know, see if that makes a difference. I'm just gonna slip that in here. All right, well, again, still not quite doing what I was hoping it would do, but it's kind of fun. So you can kind of see up here, I clipped the uh, battery pack up there so that it can kind of hold on tight. Um, this top bit, I'm not really even bothering to mess with. It's not super necessary. Um, and I'd rather just not bother with it. Um, still got some slight modifications to tweak. Maybe I'll head over to my local Dollar Tree and see what they've kind of got out there in terms of like, I don't know, maybe they've got some like stars or something that I could dangle from the top or um, like some, I know they have fake moss that I can probably put on the base and like on this tree a little bit. That might be kind of fun. Add a little something extra. Oh my gosh, I just replaced the batteries and it's so much brighter. I want to see what it looks like uh, in the dark. So here we go. All right. Please be better. Please be better. Oh, it's better. All right. I got these sprigs from the dollar store. Um, and I would love to put some of these flowers on, especially the tinier ones, like from these little or baby sprigs. And I have some like dark purple and some like white and purple. And I also have some of these baby's breath, which I think would be really cool to kind of pop on this tree. All right, I did it, and to my shock, I don't hate it. Um, I was really hating it while I was doing it. Then as I kind of added in some of these extra details down here, now that I kind of like the way it looks even without um, the lights going, I feel a lot better about it. This was probably what it would look like in like a normal setting, but you can still see the kind of focal point of this like Feyre character versus this Reese character. <laughs> I'm not gonna call them that because obviously I just made this on Canva, but um, the look is still still very much there. I love the flowers. You definitely can't tell this is a tree anymore, but honestly, I'm kind of fine with it. And the, when the lights turn on, it just kind of adds an extra layer of something. You still get a little bit of the glitter in the back when the lights are on. Yeah, you can see in the back here, I ended up gluing this up a little bit um, and then uh, painted over it with some matte black so that it kind of blends in. Um, you can see when it's on and what the modes are from the back here, which is great. Uh, the button's super easy to access. It's still easy to replace the batteries um, and then pop them back on without having to do anything. I've got my books here. I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm just kind of squish this in here like that so it sits in between my books and then it kind of makes this neat little like window into something else and i can turn the light on from the back if i could grab it and that's uh I mean, yeah this is like how you're supposed to style the book no i think it turned out it's not exactly what I was expecting when I originally started this project, but I think it turned out pretty damn cool. With all of that said, I wanted to thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye.